I ordered a frame on Amazon. It came with some wooden planks which I wanted to arrange like this in a crisscross pattern such that these planks they are placed parallel to each other. Now if I start placing planks one after the other, how do I ensure that they are exactly parallel to each other? We know that for a set of parallel lines, if there is a transversal, a transversal is basically a line which intersects the parallel lines. It will form these two angles which we call as corresponding angles. Now, if the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal. If we look closely over here, the, these angles with the lines, they are kind of making a F shape. And a similar F shape can be observed here, where these planks are the lines which I want to be parallel and this frame is acting as the transversal. So if I just place my planks in such a way that the corresponding angles are equal, I can be assured that these lines will be parallel to each other. So I just need to look for a F shape and make sure that the corresponding angles are equal, which will assure me that the lines, these, this one and this one, they will be parallel to each other. Now this F shape can be a normal looking F, upside down F, inverted F, a rotated F, any kind of F shape. But this is not the only way to assure that the given lines are parallel. There are other ways. Let's look over here. For a given set of parallel lines in the transversal, these are the angles which we call alternate interior angles. If the lines are parallel, the alternate interior angles are equal. And over here, the alternate interior angles make the Z shape. So let's find a Z shape here. Now I just need to make sure that the alternate interior angles are equal while I am placing my planks and that will assure me that this line is parallel to this line. Again, this Z shape can be a normal looking Z, a mirror image of a Z, inverted, rotated, any kind of Z shape. Z shape. Similarly, we know that for parallel lines in a transversal, there exist these two angles which we call as co-interior angles. And if the lines are parallel, let me just name these angles as A and B. If the lines are parallel, the sum of these angles is equal to 180 degrees. We also call these angles as supplementary. So this is making a C shape here and we also get a C shape over here. So what I need to assure here is that these two angles should be, the sum should be equal to 180 degrees while I am placing the planks. If I make that sure, I will know that this plank is parallel to this plank. So we need to look for C shape, it could again be a mirror image of a C, inverted, rotated C, any kind of C shape. So if we look for F shape and find that the corresponding angles are equal, we know that the lines will be parallel. Similarly, if we look for a Z shape and where the alternate interior angles are equal, we know that lines will be parallel. And lastly, we can look for a C shape. If the co-interior angles sum up to 180 degree, we know that lines will be parallel to each other.